one reporter asked him why you decide to play tennis and everything. He, it's so simple answer, but 12 years old to tell you that because I love that game. He said everything with that. <laughs> In 1994, the Raonic family emigrated from Yugoslavia to Canada. It was here a six-year-old Milos Raonic would bypass a national pastime in favor of a game that would define his life and a country's sporting ambition. No, tennis, uh, I never really watched it before. I got myself involved in it and then I wanted to sort of be playing it all the time and I think it appealed to me because there was the individual competition. It's you, you're responsible, that's it. We always told him, let's work on option. And option was, of course, for tennis was school. But we always considered school first option. It's weird because Milos was always a little bit of a quiet guy. He was always like the little brother to the group and we were always very protective of him. And he would walk around with his tennis bag on his back and the bag was bigger than him. And everyone at high school kind of questioned, who is this guy walking around all day with his tennis bag? But to see it from my point of view, I just, I knew how dedicated he was. I knew that right after class, he was heading out to the tennis courts. Today, if you ask me, I don't know how he did it because seeing his schedule and everything, it was almost impossible. The schedule was tough. Um, 6 a.m. tennis till about 8 a.m. Uh, then straight to school till about 12, straight to tennis. Um, back home around 6 o'clock. And then I did more online schooling because I, the plan I made with my parents was school through the summer and do correspondence on top at night. And I managed to finish high school in two years. When he had that breakthrough in, on Australian Open, he had just exam prior that. He called us and said, I'm sending books home. At 12 years old is, I think, when I first said, you know, Milos, you, that's the best service motion in the world. You know, it's, uh, it, it depends on how bad somebody wants something, how hard they're going to work at it. Milos worked really, really hard at it. And, um, he was driven. You know, he still is. You can see that. You know, he's still a pretty serious guy. And, but he's got that wry sense of humor at times. And uh, he would pull some little practical jokes from time to time on, on me, not so much the other way around. Uh, because sometimes I do get way too different when I go on court. I do dial in too much, and I am sometimes closed off to everything, and I don't accept things as easy. Whereas then off court, it can be a completely different person. Almost impossible. The guy, he won't let an argument go without, until he gets the final say. Even if you prove him wrong with stats, he'll still kind of come up with an argument where he doesn't look like he's wrong. It's kind of, he hates to be wrong, hates to lose. That's, that's the way he is. Like Milos, New Balance shares a humble history and a burning determination to make excellent happen. Founded more than 100 years ago, New Balance's philosophy has always remained strong to aid people in their pursuit of excellence, from helping Milos win a Grand Slam to propelling everyday athletes to achieve a personal goal. New Balance is committed to deliver innovative performance technology, which perfectly blends both function and fashion. So we picked Milos for a number of reasons, but one of the reasons we wanted that next generation of players, we were launching our tennis line at the time, and we wanted someone to build a brand with us. So was their game improved? Uh, our game would improve, if you will, at the same time. Uh, Milos happens to be a terrific young guy. We're very fortunate. He's got great parents who've raised a great young man. Uh, it's a great mix, beyond belief.